Hello, everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain the Cochrane Workout and Pre Simston model. These models can be used in time series setting to explain variables like exactly like OLS regression result. Um, we know that in time series data set, the presence of serial correlation or, or autocorrelation do not allow the application of OLS because it gives spurious result. Serial correlation comes when error from one time period are carried over into the future time periods. Time series variables suffer from the problem of serial correlation, and that's why the application of OLS can give spurious result. Now, how to estimate data set applying the Cochrane Orcutt and Price Winston model in data setting, in time series data setting, I'm going to explain in this video. Let me share you the data set first. And I'll go to, I'm going to explain the objective of the analysis. So this is the data set. In this data set, there are five data price series, the series of chicken price, maize price, rice price, soybean price, and wheat price. The prices are given per ton and in US dollar. The data set starts from 1960 January and it continues until 2023 May. So it is a pretty long data set. We have 671 observations in this data set. Now, let us estimate the first model. But before estimating the model, I'd like to explain the objective of this analysis. In this analysis, we would like to see how the chicken price is affected by the price of maize, price of rice, price of soybean and price of wheat. The source of data set come from the World Bank peak sheet. I already have explained a few of the online sources of data or time series data, what can be used for research. Please consult my previous videos if you would like to get help on this issue. Let me close this one and I'm going to estimate our model. Um, you can see from here, let me share again this one. Okay, yeah. So again, our objective is to explain the relationship among the chicken price, maize price, rice price, soybean price, and wheat price, in which chicken price is a dependent variable, and the maize, rice, soybean, and wheat are the independent variable. So let us write the, the command praise. Praise. Then I already have converted the variables into um, log format. So I'm taking log of chicken price, then log of maize price, log of rice price, log of soybean price, log of wheat price. And then I put comma, then C-O-R-C, this is the Cochrane model. And then I'm taking VCE robust. This gives the most conservative result. Let's enter. I got the result. So it shows that number of observations, 900, 760. The F statistics see 3.79, and it is like more than uh, at the 99% level, significant. R squared is only 0 0.2. And then we can see that only the price of maize is statistically and econometrically significant in explaining the price of chicken. Because this already in log log form, so we have to explain this thing in elasticity format. For example, we can say that a 1% increase in maize price will increase chicken price by 0.07% in percentage form because this is in log form. Now we can also, so this is this is the Cochrane workout model. Now if we just remove the CORC, this portion we can take up and we can run. This gives us the pre Winston model. What is the difference between these two models? There are two visible differences. One, the first difference is that the iteration number is low in the case of pre Winston model. However, the iteration number was quite high in the case of Cochrane the Cochrane Orcutt model. Also, you can see in Cochrane Orcutt model, we had to lose one observation. But in case of Price Winston model, it was the observation number was same. This is because in the conversion of data set in the case of Cochrane Orcutt model. And now, one more thing we need to explain that the Darwin Watson statistics, the transformed one. If there is no autocorrelation, we are, one would expect that the Darwin Watson Watson statistics should be around two. But here you can see that the Darwin Watson statistics is 1.45, which is significantly lower than 2.0. So 
So it means that probably there is a possibility of the presence of autocorrelation even after transformation of data, even after application of Prey and Cochrane Orcut model. The, so, however, this is a very first step of uh, time series analysis. And the most important thing is that it is very simple and very easy to explain. And it is exactly like OLS regression result. So how to explain the result and how to present the result, let me show you this video, uh, this um, uh, the PowerPoint slide I'm going to share you. Uh, this is the PowerPoint slide and I'd like to show the how to present the, the result. Uh, you see this one, this is the way that one can present the result from Cochran Orcutt model or Preston model. So long chicken at time t is a function of estimated function already, we estimate the model, the wheat, maize, rice and soybean, and these are the coefficients we already estimated uh, from the data. One thing, one limitations, major limitations of the these two models are that this is completely static results. So if someone want to see the dynamic relationship over the time, when we have to estimate this model using some different approaches like VAR model, or VC model, or ARDL model. In my subsequent videos, I will explain how to estimate VAR, VC, or ARDL model. Please state me. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for giving me a patient hearing.